I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood for your shit. What's going on, dickweeds? Today's Wednesday, hump day. It's the day it's back, eh? My words, Wednesday, hump day. It's a day me and Donna dedicate the banging. We celebrate the bang. <laughs> uh, we just have a jet. Is that your drink that smells like that? Yeah. Maybe it's, maybe it's your drink for the last few days. This would smell like berries. I said that to you. You're like, no, like, oh. Yeah, I think that's where the berry smell has been coming <laughs> I said from. We just haven't had a chance to. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had a chance to do no banging. We got the, uh. The cupboards got, uh. Done. Done today. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Nothing really much to see, you know. I mean, it does look different, but I'm sure you guys all seen cupboards before. <laughs> okay, so hump day. Yeah, me and Donna to get into no humping today because we had there's too many dudes around. Can't hump, can't hump when there's too many dicks in the house. <laughs> uh you wanted to talk about this fucking... We're in Timmins, Ontario. I, I wanted to talk a little bit more about that. Okay, you could, but okay. we're in Timmins, Ontario, way up in Canada. We're in the arsehole of Ontario. Hey? <laughs> and before Donna continues on the cupboards, I wanted to show you the delicious supper Donna delivered... Or... Delivered. The delicious supper Donna had delivered today. It came from the hut. Look at this piece that, of pizza. That is their thin and crispy. We get thin. We always get thin crust whenever we order pizza. It's not pizza. That I don't even know what that is. It's like I'm one of those things you taste while you're waiting for the pizza. I'm so disappointed in them. I'll, it's back to toppers for us. Back to toppers. But that's that's a Canadian pizza. It's supposed I, to be bacon and a mushroom in there. I see cheese. And, it may be in there, but I, never again. I I quit pizza. <laughs> For this reason, because it does taste good, but it's too but thin. But it's cheap, good, you know. Yeah, like you know, a dollar. It's like a quick fix, and then you know. You know, like a dollar a slice if it was at a store, you know. Fuck, this is more like fifty cents a slice. Well, in today's. I don't think that is. I mean, sandwiches thicker than that with bologna. I think my bologna sandwiches are thicker. Okay, I want to say this. So I got up extra early this morning. She did. To, uh... Sorry about the echo. Everything's all over. It's here. all over, and that's... I got up extra early because, um... You never really know when Timmins housing is going to come. They could say this time, but they sometimes come earlier. They lie. So I got up early just to finish moving, like... Just getting the rest of the way, right? And uh, so they show up at 7.30. 7.30 a.m. I was up at 5.30. Okay, so... I was up at like 9.30 or 10.30. <laughs> I don't know why, why like the maintenance guy was so mad at stuff, but like there was two of them. There was a younger guy and an older guy. The older guy just seemed like he was like helper. Like he just... 
I heard the younger guy actually because they came in right, and I went and sat in the living room, so I I know what's going on. Like I can hear right. <laughs> Um, so they start taking uh, shit out, right? And the maintenance guy gets, he says, oh, I don't think they're getting you, uh, the younger guy. The younger guy. says, oh, I don't think they're getting, I I don't know what to do with these drawers, he says. Oh, well, look at that. My thumb crunched through the thin crust at the back. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, I don't know what to do with these drawers. They're not getting new drawers. I don't think they're getting new drawers. And I was like, okay, like, whatever, fuck. Just, just take off the fucking shit. So then he calls the the cabinet people, right? Because he says, because the other guy says, well, what are we doing with the countertop? Are they getting a new countertop? Oh, he says, I don't think they're getting a new countertop. Like, it's coming out of his pocket, right? (laughs) So he calls the cabinet people, right? And they confirm. And I remember, right, I was here when they came, that we were getting a new countertop. I didn't bother saying nothing. Let him hear from the fucking cabinet people, right? So he does that. So he, he calls them. They say whatever. He seems mad about it. He didn't like that we were getting new countertop it's, and stuff. <laughs> anyway. It bothered him. Yeah. He's probably not going to be able to sleep tonight. So then, uh, the, now they're taking out the bottom cupboards, okay? And uh, he gets to the point, right, that <clears throat> this one, anyways, he's trying, he's like, oh, it's not coming out and this and that and all this other shit, right, to the other, the older guy, right? So the older guy kind of like, because uh, I could see there's a crack through here. <laughs> so I could, from the living room to the kitchen, I could see what they were doing, right? So the older guy goes over and he looks and he goes, well, you got a screw right there. He says like a bolt that's <laughs> holding it in. And the guy says, the younger guy says, oh, I didn't even see that. I was just going to start kicking the cupboards. Kicking the fucking cupboards? All you do is cause damage. Anyways. They got that out. The cover people were here from 9 until like just about 5 o'clock. And there was the tin, the tin, the the plumbing company, right? They were in here. It seems to me like, let me know, okay? Because you're a male. Males that have a job, like, okay, say if you're the plumber or you're the cabinet person or whatever your job, whatever you specialize in, uh-huh. let you do your job before another guy comes into your area. Because that's two what... Two dudes don't work good together. No, the two cabinet guys... He's not the dudes in here. No, the two cabinet guys worked fine together. The what, like, they were both given, like, little pointers, little fucking, like, things out, whatever, to each other. As soon as the fucking, uh, as soon as the fucking plumber guy showed up oh my god he's just seemed like he should have maybe called them first to see what they were done before entering their fucking little territory of cupboards right Mm -hmm. like it was they were anyway then i find out right when the cover people are here the guy that took out all the fucking bottom cupboards took a piece out that he wasn't supposed to take out that's what took so yeah he took out a piece because the other the cabinet guy was like Oh, what was here a dishwasher? And I'm like, no. And the other guy's telling him it's just empty space. But he said they weren't supposed to take that, so he they had to go back to the fucking wherever the shop, right, at some point, and get a fucking piece to match all. What a hectic day! What a fucking hectic day! <clears throat> and on top of that, I laid upstairs by the air conditioner to stay cool. Like it's kind of hot today. Well, I'll explain the the rest of it. I hit the stack a bunch of times and just laid by the fucking air conditioner. One time I even dozed off. Donna came and shut the light off. Yeah, I went upstairs to see what he was doing, right? Because, like, I just went upstairs and I fucking went into the spare bedroom because that's where he was. Well, I got up this morning. I rolled into bed and Donna's... I went and took a piss and Donna says, I got all your stuff set up for you in there because she got up at 5.30 and... Oh, yeah, I moved all... What time did I get up at? 8.30, uh, a little bit. You didn't hear anything when the housing was here this morning? The maintenance? Oh, I woke up when they were leaving. Okay, so they left like around... Uh, remember I went to the can I told you I was taking a Timmons housing? Yeah, yeah. They, I think it was like what? I 8, told her I was taking a housing. 8.30? <laughs> yeah. What was I talking about? You getting up? <clears throat> yeah. I got up, went and took a Timmons housing. 
<laughs> and when I got when I got her to the bathroom, Donna was telling me that she had she had my stack. She grinded a bunch of a bunch of weeds. I had a cup of orange juice. A cup up of there. orange juice up there. A Coca Cola. A bottle of water. She had a whole little setup for me. And I said to her, "Am I like your little secret or something?" <laughs> No. She was treating me like I was her little secret. She's hiding me in a room. <laughs> no. There's no room. There was no room down here. Like, there's a trail to get to the fucking love seat in the living room. I just wanted to make sure he had everything that he usually has when he gets up. And so I did. He... But it felt funny, like, sitting up in a bedroom. I could I could have came down here, but I would have been in everybody's fucking way. There was no room in this house. I don't... So anyway, where were we going with that? I do not know where you were going. Oh, you told them how I had everything set up for you upstairs. Yeah, she had everything set up for me. So my day was okay, except for the, you know, the long wait of these cocksuckers. Oh, well, yeah, I went upstairs and the stuff. to see if he was in the spare bedroom, right? Because that's where he was. I look, and there's and he's not there. I look over into the bedroom, and there's a bedroom light on. And he's fucking sleeping, like, you know... He looks so cut, and it was hot here today. It was like thirty one. It felt like thirty one. Not in the hot. bedroom. I had the air conditioner and a fan. Well, anyways, I shut off the light and let him freaking sleep because the only thing that sucked is every time these cocksuckers come into the house, they slam the fucking door. So I keep waking up. I'm like, Fuck! every time they wake they can't out. just close the doors like bang, 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 bang. It's like what the fuck? I understand it's windy, but like, fuck. you don't know how to use a door. There was a lot of loud bangs. A lot of loud bangs. Not as loud as mine and Donna's bangs, but there was some loud bangs. <laughs> okay, moving on. Did I say we're in Timmins, Ontario? Yeah. Okay. So there's been a lot of like stuff. Stuff happening in Timmins, like people getting shot and fucking. People ODing and just all kinds of fucking things, and now all of a sudden there's so like car bombs. Last week was it last weekend or something? There was a shooting, not too far from us, but well, a little ways, but not really. <laughs> under five minutes, driving by car, there was a shooting. Yeah. So yesterday, after the show, there's a hotel. Can I? See? Are you allowed to say the name of the hotel? Yeah. It's called the Comfort Inn. Here in Timmins, Ontario. So, uh, the, and there was a lot of people that heard like this explosion, right? So then the, they taped off the, the highway. So if you wanted to go to Porcupine or South Porcupine, you had to take like the... You got to take the long way around. Yeah, that all taped off. So somebody was in the vehicle, my understanding, that got, what, bombed or something? or the yep. vi- car got blowed up. And the person died in... The, the person vehicle. got blowed up with the car. Yeah, so that happened, right? And then, like, not too far from us over here, there's another hotel. This morning at 5.30, the cops and the friggin' ambulance, right, are all over there at that hotel. And then later on this afternoon... Up up by Walmart, right, the Ramada Inn, they had the fucking fire department, a whole bunch of cops, because there was a smell, apparently, but I don't really believe this. There is something going on here, because... Something going on! It's, uh... It's very bad here, you know? For the... It's it's not a safe place to live. I don't think so. No, it's not a safe place to live. There was talking about the senator. I was reading a story today. So some guy's wife was, I guess there's parking. I don't know where the fucking parking is. I've never gone. I like to live on the edge of a knife, though. That's why we're here. (laughs) She was going like through the parking lot at the at this hotel, right? And she saw this like junkie person, like this person on drugs beating up this boy right this young but like so the person was just beating up and how old was the boy the person said it was a my understanding i would say maybe at most 15 and like he already had a cut his head was cut 
open. So you got a good one. <laughs> so she drove her car and actually got out, right? Because like, well, that's not right. You can't do that to anybody, uh, you know, on drugs or not. You can't do that to somebody. So she got out to stop the person on drugs from beating up on the kid, right? That was right in, in daytime. But was the kid, did the kid do anything? He, he, like, he did, he People didn't just get attacked, just... no. That, somebody said uh, they were riding a bike not too long ago, right? Well, sometimes, you know, teenagers can get like really lippy and My under... maybe set somebody off and... Uh, That's not what happened though? No, it, somebody, because after that said they were riding a bike downtown and some, some person on drugs, right, just hit them as they were going by. I got called the fucking cunt the other, like yesterday. Like, they're unpredictable, those people. People have come here to help, right? And they are now leaving here because it's just that bad here. Uh, it's, it's... It's bad here. People are going to end up leaving their jobs for, like, stress leave because they must see a lot of shit in one day. They might, Donna. I don't know. I guess it depends on your line of work. <laughs> like uh, cops and ambulance? Yeah, those cocksuckers might see a lot. I don't know. Who knows? Needles behind TH, Donna. Uh, TH is a high school. Which Tim is not. Is high. Yeah. Somebody was saying today, I'm now finding needle. So it must have been a teenager, teenager right? Or some. Well, because they said my high school and they put TH down, right? Yeah. This, this town, the city is turning into just like, uh, you, should, you know, it should say, welcome to junk city, junky city, you know. It should say that and a lot of other things. The old people, I told you guys a story a while back about a girl being a lookout for another girl that was either taking a piss or shit. Yeah, down in the little garage way where the old people live on Pine Street. There's a girl down there one day taking a piss or shit or something while somebody was, I guess her friend was being the lookout. And what a mess. There's garbage bags torn up all over. There's needles. Apparently it's bad down there. And those old people pay like a lot of money to live there. They pay over $2,000 to live there. That's an emergency exit. That's expensive, $2,000 a month. I think it's 2400 yeah. But it's an emergency exit. So how the hell are you going to get out with all the garbage there? I don't know. It's fucked in this little city town. City town. <laughs> it's small like a town. It's small like a town. But it's a city. But it's called a city. <laughs> <laughs> We had a pumpkin pie yesterday that we bought from what store? Your independent. From your independent grocer. Okay. Donna cut the pie for us last night after supper. Hopefully everybody's following me or we, we're switching the subject. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, the pie that Donna cut, she got from your independent grocer, the cocksucker was like really runny. Like it's not. It, it doesn't even taste like pumpkin pie. It didn't taste very good at all. It, I don't know what the fuck is going on with stuff in this fucking town. I, maybe it's everywhere, but it seems like in Timmins here everything's fucked. You buy a pie and it's fucking jello. You know it what didn't I mean? It didn't even taste like. It's like fucking jello almost, but more moist and like yeah. runny and shit. It, we didn't even we like, didn't we took a just bite throw and, the yeah. fucker in the garbage. It's it's fucking bad, and it was six fucking dollars. Six fucking bucks. Wish I can get my six bucks back. You can't even spruce it up with whipped cream. You couldn't spruce it up with whipped cream. Nothing. It's bad. It's bad. Just make your own. Yeah, you got to make your own. Donna's gonna make us a homemade one for. I'm making a pumpkin cheesecake for Thanksgiving. But yeah. I can make regular like pumpkin pie. I can make that too, but it's better if you just do it yourself. Yeah. What the fuck do you have written down here? 
Oh, okay. So this morning, uh, I guess 6.30ish, right? Because I didn't know if the Tim and Celsius was going to be here at 7. So I went to go grab a coffee, okay? So on the way back, I have the radio on and I'm just like listening to... Donna took a quick run up to Horton's. <laughs> Charlie and I... Um, so I'm listening to the radio on the way back, right? And I'm like, uh, these two guys are talking like the, what are they called? Radio hosts, radio, whatever they are. Yeah. Radio um, dicks. Um, they said statistics. What you, statistics. Canada just released, right? How much like in Canada it is to raise a kid from like birth to 17. Mm. So I was thinking, like, I was listening because I wanted to know. And you got to understand, this is just the basics you probably heard. This is like, they said, like, this 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 is like your food, your clothing, uh, you know, just, you know, you know, not like 10 trampolines to the whole kid's life or anything like that. You know, like, it's just to raise a kid in Canada right now with the prices here from birth to 17, right? Because 18, you're an adult here. Is three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. That is for one fucking kid. One. So the guy that like there was a guy that has kids and there was another guy that he doesn't him and his girlfriend or wife or they don't have kids, right? But they were saying like three hundred you could all these things that you could buy, right? That are less than a child. That three hundred and fifty thousand dollars to raise a kid. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of fucking money. That is bullshit. It is bullshit. It shouldn't cost that much. It shouldn't cost nothing. Three hundred and fifty thousand. That's just about half a million dollars. Yeah. And that's not even like a you know a good life. You know that's just like that's just your basics. Yeah, like that's you not know. your extras or nothing through life. Like you know. You know, hey, Dad, can I have some money to go to the show? Can I borrow the car? Can I have a car? You know what I mean? All that kind of shit. You know? Right? Yeah, like you're not wearing Jordans or anything like that. <laughs> you're not wearing J's. <laughs> you're, you're, wouldn't be like, you know. That is, that's unbelievable. So really to raise a child is... If you want, a lot more than what Donna said. Well, okay, and if you that, want, that, like, a kid to have brand name stuff, it's probably about uh, half a million dollars. Yeah, that, what, what you just name that's just, like, making it by, like, because, like... That's your, like, so your kid eats every day. Yeah, and has, that's just like, your simple basics. It's not, like, you know... Your real basic stuff. You know, if you want, like, the Reebok shoes or something, that's gonna, co- that's more. Or, like, all the, bra- if you have daughters and you want, they want all this brand name shit, right? That's a lot more. Plus, like, you know, are they even throwing in there for the daughters, like, makeup and stuff? I don't know. Then you got your cell phones and video games. Uh, Your internet. I wouldn't raise a child. I don't want no kids. Had to, and I don't want no more. Anyways, it's hot. It, like I said, it's hot. it was hot here. You know, people say if I could do my life over, I would. Yeah. Well, I would too, but I would do my next life childless. It's not that I don't love my kids. I just, I don't think I would want to go through the whole That is like, I, again, I can know? say, you know, I, we, you know, you, when you do it, you do it. And... You know, like how some people out there will just continue to have like kids or like they just want to like, I wouldn't want that. I would, I feel the same as you. I wouldn't. Once you do it, you don't want to do it again. No. And if you do, well, good luck to you. (laughs) Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that again. It's hard work. It's a lot of hard work. I remember asking, asking Ed from the hospital room if he, I was like, do you, I called him, right? Because the doctor was like telling me, because, you know, like he's like, because I was had, like, I had C-sections, right? So he's like, if I, do you want any more kids? And I was thinking outside, like, I don't want no fucking more kids. Like, this is good. Like, two's good. 
And I was like, let me let me just call at the time. Like, we weren't married, so I said, my boyfriend, right? So I called it, and I was like, do you want any more kids? And he's like, nope. <laughs> Why? I was like, because cause they will tie my tubes, right? They'll, they didn't even tie them. They burned them, right? So... I said, because that, and he didn't have a problem with it. And I, I had no problem with that. I didn't want no more kids. And I didn't have a problem with it because I didn't want any more kids, right? Like, Two kids just, is good for me. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to do it again. <laughs> wouldn't want to do it again. No. <laughs> Anywho. It's been a long, long day. It's been a long, long I, day. I even took a little nap this afternoon upstairs because it was just, oh, like you, you're thinking like, fuck, hurry up, you know. And, and sorry about the boring video, but nothing. We nothing didn't go at anywhere. All happened today. All we did was sit around, sit around here and wait for the fucking monitor of the house. Yeah, we monitored the house. Actually, she did. I. I laid by the air conditioner. Well, going. like after I got in a good nap. After a while, you get used to like the cupboard people, right? So like you hear them talking, they're not interested in your shit. But then you have somebody new, like a new stranger, show up, and it's like, oh fuck, okay, I can't talk to you anymore upstairs. I gotta come down here. And Donna thinks everybody's here to rip her off. I don't know what they. There's people that do it all the time. Anywho, I'm gonna get in my road toke. Donna's gonna throw you cocksuckers some final words. And then I'll take you guys over there and uh, Donna can point to uh, stuff that she wants to point to. But I will say before we get started, or like you could, you could start that, whatever. Um, we now need to paint the kitchen. Cause that yeah, we're going to do the paint. We're going to paint the kitchen the same color as in here because it... It does not match it, at all. Well, this color matches the cupboards. The burgundy, deep burgundy does not. No. It looks bad. Okay, I'm going to get in my road toke. Uh, stay happy, stay safe, be kind. Enjoy your Wednesday. Have a good night. Hope you got some humps in. Yeah, yeah. Hope you got some banging... Hope you guys got the bang <coughs> today, because we didn't. <coughs> we're on different floors. And we were on different floors, yeah. And that's it. Couldn't even sneak in any banging, because all you can hear is men's voices. Nothing would work. Anywho. What do you think of that crust, Donna? <laughs> I've never taste. I never. I have huh. never tasted. Crust so sharp and hard in my life. Yeah. In my lice. In your lice. Can you move that? <laughs> You're going to end my lice. <laughs> I like burnt toast. Burnt toast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like burnt toast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my fucking nose. The Timmons weather's fucked. Here's Charlie the Labradoodle. Had yeah, a long day too. Yeah, Charlie had a long day. He doesn't bite or nothing, but he'll come and sit right beside yeah, you like, while you're doing like, work. Yeah, like if somebody's doing some work or whatever, Charlie will sit right there and he'll act like like he's doing the job with you, you know. But he kind of gets in people's way, you know. At the same time. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is the new. These this is all new. This. This is all new. This. This is new. All these cupboards. The oh, let's, top is watch out, Donna. And over there. These are just new doors. Those are just new doors. Put on old cupboards. Put on old cupboards. Um, and right there also. This? Because this is where the countertop, because it was never, uh, well, you could show, like, even here. The countertop was higher because they never leveled it. They never put it on correctly. Yeah. 
So, um, the one guy says that Tim and Susan is supposed to come here to patch, like put patch on here and stuff like that. Yeah. But then uh, the like, I guess their boss, she came and she was like, "No, they're gonna get paint everywhere." Uh -huh. So her suggestion is just to put a piece of uh, white wood trim uh -huh. or some type of trim here, mm -hmm. right, right across, and to block this. So I'm not doing anything until that's done before I paint in here. Uh -huh. uh, but that's what it looks like. And, and look at this. So they had to come through the back door because the... Hang on, let me catch up to you. Because like this piece over here in the corner, like that's a See at the piece. back, they, they did this also. Right yeah, here. it looks good. I, I yeah. But now look at this. I sent it to the look at because they, they took off the back door to bring in a fucking piece. Yeah. So I. So the door handle went through the wall. Yeah. Which pisses me off. Cause you just painted. I just painted, so I, I, I suggested right. Just to put one of those. Tim Zosen should do the whole fucking thing. Like, look, ever since Donna painted, you can see, like. Some things come. Like this here, like this. So square this, over there. This. It's, it's over here behind you. Square. That's a square. Uh, like, you can see every. I don't even know what it's this is. It's not so is. bad up there. It's, it's down it's, here. Down there. It's bad. Uh, over here, well, like it's the color you used, right? Yeah, I know, but this it bring, is like it brings you the years of dings and this down here is like that's I'm not fixing that. That's not my. This is not my house. It's not your house. No, if it was my house, then I would rip all the drywall out and put brand new drywall up. But it's not my house. <laughs> I don't decide those things. Donna doesn't decide those things. Yeah, it's. So? That's why we want to go outside? For what? I don't know. Well, we could. I gotta find my shoes. There's nobody around? I don't think so. There's lots of neighbors out earlier. I see there's a lot across the street there. What's well, that? Neighbors. Today's the last day of the heat, so everybody's washing their cars and doing whatever, you know. Come on, Charlie. There's Charlie. Oh my fuck. Really? What? Just fucking look. What? Do you really want your kid across there? Oh, the bill beds? Do you see the pumpkin? Do you see? Yeah. It's crazy, Donna. <laughs> it's high winds today, right? So I just let the leaves blow into everybody else's yard so I don't have to rain. Hopefully you guys can hear us. Anyways, this is all the old shit. Look how bad. Look how fucking bad. Look how fucking bad. Look at, that's, that was uh, inside of the fucking drawers. That's not me, that's, that's them. That's them. <laughs> that's them, right Donna? Yeah. So what do we... I don't know, I need some air, but I don't want to fucking deal with it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I gotta, I gotta start fucking putting shit away and getting this in before it rains. Oh, do you want to see my welcome sign? Yeah, let's see Donna's welcome sign. You can come. You coming, Charlie? Are you coming? Bring the sign in. No, I think it's coming over there. Anyway, Donna was talking about the bail beds thing because they got like Halloween decorations up, but that's. That's not for. I don't want my kid going there. Yeah, that's a little crazy to have your kid going there to see. Criminal. Prisoners. <laughs> prisoners, eh, Donna? So. Oh my god. Stay there. So I got this is what I got on Amazon here yeah. today. It's Donna's new sign. Yep. Okay. Time to go in. Hopefully you guys were able to hear everything because 
it's kind of windy outside, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knocked something over. I don't even know what it was. Okay. Uh, That's it. Leave a comment down below. Would you let your kids go to the bail beds program building to trick or treat? <laughs> Would you, Donna? No, I don't understand. This bothers me a lot. Because why are you, do you know, outside the fucking prison, are they putting fucking garbage bags of fucking <laughs> pumpkins for Attracting you? kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that. That's a, that's a topic for another fucking day. <laughs> okay, so do we have anything else? No, we're done. Let's go take one last look at that pizza. No, check the, check this. Your, where's your bank card? I don't see your bank card. Here's, Jesus. here's a pizza from the hut. Look That's it. what it looks like. Look. It's. <laughs> and where's all the meat? It's a Canadian. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even like. I don't even know. If it tastes pepperoni. like pepper. No. It, Did you taste pepperoni? Uh, that's all I taste is a bit of pepperoni. There's nothing, I didn't find any pepperoni. That's the worst in fucking. I. That's just. That's fucking low. That's low. Anywho, <laughs> cigarette holder, everybody. We're oot. Fuck off. <laughs>